This is Twit. Horace Didieu, we mentioned him uh, earlier. Dressed right's the greatest blog. You could call him an amateur. I find him kind of more knowledgeable than almost anybody, a Simcoe. He came up with an interesting statistic. We had mentioned that Apple said uh, that in 2014 they'd paid $10 billion to developers. But just a great uh, a great stat. That's, that's uh, more than, um, what was it? Now I've, now I've lost it. Hollywood. Hollywood, right? Yeah. iOS app developers earned more than Hollywood did from box office in 2014. That is a big economy you got here with the apps. That is amazing. Well, is, is Candy Crush <laughs> you know the size of the Avengers? I mean, it's interesting. Like, <laughs> kind of numbers. It probably is, right? Yeah. And, well, you, and we, had, we talked about the numbers uh, from um, a Monument uh, Valley uh, the other yeah. day. And, uh, well, I mean, proportionately, they're not major motion picture numbers it cost them a little more than a million dollars to make it they they raked in five million but well still. and i think that i think one of the things that a lot of people say was well you know not all the developers make money well not all, everyone in hollywood makes money either there's a lot of people that are serving no. you know serving dinner <laughs> you know at different it's restaurants very, it's actually very similar break. where it's yeah. a, a hit driven economy right you investment know, banking uh, well yeah a lot yeah a lot of a lot of the apps don't make it but you know what you know when you get when you get an iron man then you got a franchise. Right. $500 million spent on iOS apps in week one in January of 2015. Half a billion. Wait a minute. Let me say that again. Half a billion spent on iOS apps in the first week of this month. Yeah. And everyone gets their brand new devices on you know, yeah. Christmas and opens them up. Yeah. It's got to be the biggest week, right? Or yeah. Gift cards, too. One of two. And gift cards. That's right. Yeah. Michael yep. got hundreds of dollars in gift cards. I that Yeah. Apple, by the way, kudos, because I've been entering gift cards from other people. You just show the gift card to the camera. Yes. And it goes, oh, yeah, I got it. That When you have 12 gift cards to enter, that is a boon. That is <laughs> And nice. you can actually have Siri order ask, uh, send a gift card for you. Just tell Siri to send an iTunes gift card. If you no. Right there. Yeah. Siri, I love you, dude. Uh, lady. Whatever. <laughs> Depends on the country. <laughs> <laughs> Cumulative developer revenues $25 billion, making 2014 revenues 40% of all app sales since the store opened in 2008. Billings for apps increased 50% in 2014. 627,000 jobs created in the U.S. We talked about that. That's kind of an interesting number. I don't know, but still... It's it is kind of interesting. I, I've been spending a lot of time poking through Apple sites, and also because of uh, Microsoft's keynote last week, uh, their sites, and then also looking through Google. And it's interesting how if you really just want to go through all the nooks and crannies, it's very very easy to find on Apple where they're saying, "Here's how much we're helping the economy. Here's how much how, here's how many jobs we're creating. Here's the good that we're doing." It's also very very easy uh, to find in Microsoft. Here is the actual real research that we're doing. Not in addition to developing products, we're developing basic technologies and publishing supporting uh, research papers that are going to support all kinds of other work that's being done. Uh, Google maybe has a combination of both, but it's kind of interesting to see that dichotomy between, like, if we want to d devote some of our users' uh, attention towards things that are not directly involved with selling them a new phone or selling them a, a new piece of software, here's what we want, here's how we want to define ourselves to the public, and that's clearly what Apple wants people to know about. Here's a graph Alex Lindsay's not going to like too much. iTunes group gross revenues by product type, that, that little thin layer at the bottom, pro apps. <laughs> <laughs> then music, then video. Video is bigger than, uh, music is bigger than video. The red one is apps. And that's, there, you see that's a big portion of revenue. That's gross revenues. So you take 30% of that goes to Apple, 70% to developers. Music is popular. If you look at Twitter, I think all the, the most followed people are music artists at this point. Not sports people, not Hollywood stars. Really? It's singers. Yeah, huh. I believe that's still the case. 